Welcome to Google Notebook LM, four reasons why educators should be using it. In this session, we're going to dive into this amazing tool and talk about four main reasons why and how you should be using it in your classroom so you can start using it right away. My name is Katie Eklund, and I will be walking you through these helpful tips. So first up, for talking about Notebook LM, we're going to talk about our first tip and reason why you should be using it is to help you summarize content for student-friendly access. You can upload files and then they can create clear, concise summaries and bullet points. It can help you scaffold complex content for your students and or even students like English language learners. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go dive into Notebook LM together and look at this in live time. So let's go check it out. All right, here we are in Notebook LM, and I want to show you what you can do to upload items and have it help you summarize content for your students. So I'm going to create a Notebook out new LM right here, and now I'm going to start to add my sources. Um, I have a Google Doc that I want to add in, and I have a couple of other sources. So there's my Google Doc on the water cycle that I want to upload, and I'm going to add some more. Um, I have this website right here that I want to add. So I'm going to add a link to a website that I'm just going to copy and paste in. And then I also have an item that I want to upload. So let me go grab that real quick because I want to grab all of my resources. So now I have all three of my resources in here for my lesson about the water cycle. So now that I have that in here, I can use this to go over here to my notes area and I can have it create different items. I can have it create what is called a study guide and see what information pulls from that. I can also have it create what is called a briefing doc. That's kind of um, a summary as well and or an FAQ. It kind of just depends on what I'm looking for. Um, but then once they're created, I can simply just open them. So here's my study guide, um, which has some great items. What I really love in here is the glossary of key terms. That's super helpful. So you can kind of create these things and a briefing doc right here also breaks it down nicely. Um, if this is if neither of these is what I want, I can actually come over here and say, write a summary for my third grade students on the water cycle. And then I can have it generate that, right? So if it's not something that's created over here that you you're kind of looking for something specific, there you go. You can just ask it. Please note that I made a very simple prompt here. If you have something very specific, make sure you include that in your prompt. But I can see here. So here is a nice, much more condensed than three resources on the water cycle. And I can save this note. Um, I can copy this note to like go put it somewhere to share to my students. So lots of great options there for you. Um, I could even um, go in and have it scaffold different pieces of the content. Again, just putting that in my prompt, right? So I can ask it for the summary. I can ask it for things like key terms if I don't want to pull them from these documents that it makes and or have it scaffold up or down as my students needed. So this is one really great way you could utilize Notebook LM to help your students. All right, now let's move on to our second reason, which Notebook LM can help you generate custom study guides and review questions, which I absolutely love. So you can ask it to identify key themes, vocabulary, potential quiz question, create reflection prompts or short answer practice. You can also have it do test prep and or homework supports. So we're going to go dive in to Notebook LM back to our water cycle and see what we can create from there. All right, so here we are back in Notebook LM with our water cycle that we were just talking about um, for our first reason. So now we're going to talk about making some custom materials. We saw over here earlier that I can create the study guide and the briefing doc and the FAQ by simply just clicking on them and it makes them for me. But maybe I'm looking for something super specific. So I'm just going to ask it in my prompt so that it can pull the information from my sources. Um, please identify the 
key vocabulary and provide definitions. And then it can pull that out for me and I can have those key terms, those vocabulary completely ready to go that I can just copy out and put in a Google Doc or wherever I need them to go, which is really nice. Um, I can then also have it write up some quiz questions. Um, write 10 quiz questions for my students about the water cycle. And if I want to get really specific, I can say for my third grade students, right? Remember, the more specific you are, the more it's going to tailor them for you. Uh, so there's your questions that, again, you can save them and utilize them and see how quickly I'm creating them. So nice um, and so quickly. I love that you can use this. And again, you can use this to scaffold up or down for your students as well. So this will be really great to be able to create quick resources for your students using things that you're already teaching with in the classroom. All right, here is the third reason uh, to be using Google's Notebook LM because it has the ability to create kind of like a podcast, which will allow you to create audio supports for your students in the classroom. You can turn notes and content into a podcast style audio summary. It's really great for students who need that auditory support. Uh, it can also be helpful for um, doing some audio recaps of the things that you load into there. So let's go and check that out inside of Notebook LM together. All right, here we are back in Notebook LM working on our water cycle um, notebook together. And right over here in the studio, all I did was generate, and then it generated this really nice um, audio overview of the water cycle and forms of precipitation based on our sources over here. Um, it is nine minutes and 33 seconds, and it's currently in English. You can do it in more than um, one language if you need to, um, but you obviously will want to listen to it, but you can also change your playback speed. You can download the file and then delete it if you don't want to. You'll also see on your initial setup that you can also create that audio overview from right here inside of the chat as well, but this is really great because it allows you to be able to grab that um, and use that for those auditory learners in your classroom. So if you've never checked that out, go ahead and work in Notebook LM, have it generate it, and then go listen to it. It's really awesome, really great for those auditory learners, and I love using it all the time for myself. So definitely check that feature out. All right, so here we are for our fourth reason to use Google Notebook LM. It's a great tool to help spark student inquiry and discussion, of course, with teacher guidance. You can use Notebook LM to help you design deeper level questions for your content, um, encourage students to critically think about AI-generating follow-up questions, but please note that they can definitely benefit from this, but you as the teacher should always be the guide for this tool, and uh, students should not be using this tool on their own. So let's go dive into Notebook LM and check out this last reason. All right, so here we are back in Notebook LM. And again, we're back in that same topic of the water cycle. And now we want to, we've gone through our uh, different areas and we've made some summaries, we've made some key terms, we have also made some questions and uh, our audio overview, but now we want to spark discussion. So I'm going to go down into my prompt and say, and say, what are five open, oops, let's spell that correctly, open-ended um, questions that I can share with third grade students to spark discussion. And then I'm going to have it create those for me. And you'll see just like this, I have them done and ready to go that I can use with my students, right? And what I love about this is uh, it gives the question, but it also kind of gives you the, like this question encourages students to think about this part of the water cycle or this part of the water cycle, right? It really breaks that down. And then also, if you hover over these numbers, it does give the some information of where it's pulling it from. So this one came from my PDF that I uploaded. This one came from that website. So it kind of really tells you where it pulls it from. So lots of great options here for you when you're wanting to spark that inquiry and discussion. 
uh, as an educator, I always do it and then bring the content to my students. I don't have my students in the tool. I do that. So I just want to make sure I emphasize that with you as well. Thank you so much for watching the four reasons to use Google Notebooks LM. I really appreciate you taking the time to do this, and I hope that you've learned that Notebook LM can help you turn your classroom content into personalized, engaging resources all in one place. So now I would challenge you to go ahead into Notebook LM and try uploading some of your lesson plans, your readings, your resources, and see what you can go create inside of Notebook LM to start using with your students right away.